So I've been listening to the DCS Lena Network DAC for a while now here in my reference system. Now, I've been aware of DCS for many, many years, decades now. Uh, if you're an audiophile and have been in this hobby for a long time, I have no question that you know who DCS is. They've been around for 35 years and they have been doing one sole thing pretty much uh, for the audio consumer, the high-end audio consumer during that time. DCS has perfected in their eyes uh, the digital to analog converter. Um, they have been making DACs for a long time. And when I think of DCS, I think of end game, uh, crazy expensive, out of my reach, fantasies, dreams, etc. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just posted my full written review of the DCS Lena over at my website. I will put a link in the description below if you want to read it. It'll go into much more detail than this video. Um, I compare it to other DACs in that review as well. Um, but the DCS Lena, my first experience with DCS was in the late 90s. I walked into an audio shop in Phoenix, Arizona that's no longer there. Uh, and the guy that owned that shop is a guy that I ended up later in life becoming somewhat friends with because he worked at another audio shop I frequented. But I walked into this shop to buy a Carry V12R amp. It was his demo piece. I think it needed new tubes, but it was a great deal. Uh, I set up a time. I said, I'll be there around, I think it was like 5 or 6 p.m. I walk into the shop. I see no one there. But I hear music and rumblings and laughter and a group of people down the hall. Uh, I look down the hall, the owner comes out, sells me the V12R, he goes back into the room. I walk down there, the door's open, and there's a group of people excited because they're listening to uh, the DCS. I think it was the Elger uh, DAC at the time. It was a full stack. I really didn't know at the time what it was comprised of. I just knew it was the DCS that I read about in Stereophile. They were playing Ella Fitzgerald, I believe, but I tell you, it sounded like there was a concert in that room. It was larger than life, right? The scale was massive. The sound at the time was a little sharp, highly dynamic, but it was exciting. And I walked out of there remembering that experience for the rest of my life. I remember it to this day like it was just last month. Um, so I came away very impressed but knowing that that was something that was out of my reach. Now DCS makes some pretty expensive DACs for those of you who have fat wallets and budgets that are into the stratosphere. Uh, they make the Vivaldi and they just upgraded that to the Vivaldi Apex. It's a multi-box system that reaches into the stratosphere for a DAC. Um, they also have the Rossini, which was just upgraded to the Rossini Apex. Then there's the DCS Bartok at around 20 grand, which is a DAC, a streamer, and a headphone amp. Then the Lena. Now the Lena is a three-piece system. It consists of the DAC, the network DAC that I am talking about here, the master clock, which goes to the DAC, and the headphone amp itself. The Lena system is strictly made for headphones and that costs around $29,000 for a headphone system. I remember back when I was 11 in the back seat of my dad's car listening to my favorite headphones. My dad bought my sister and I um, little, they weren't Walkmans because all they consisted of was an FM AM radio and these really cheap headphones with styro, not styrofoam, like spongy foam. Whole things cost 15 bucks a piece. And back then I thought those were amazing, right? I was this little kid listening to $15 headphones. So today to think of a $29,000 system, that's insane, but there are people, there are millions of millionaires in the United States alone, let alone worldwide. The Lena is a $12,700 DAC with a streamer. So there is a streamer built in and you can stream direct from your phone, your tablet, whatever, using Spotify Connect, Tidal Connect, you can stream using the DCS Mosaic app, uh, put in your Cobuzz credentials, you can stream Cobuzz. It handles all formats you can think of and it has all the inputs and outputs you can think of as well. 
you have um, your AES in, your USB in, your coax in, your optical in, right? And you have RCA outs and balanced XLR outs as well. But overall, the ease of use in one box was really um, a, a great thing to experience. I love these little all-in-one boxes when they are of this quality. Now, the DCS build quality looks to be uh, fantastic, up there with the best there is. It's a small black box, but the internals are very impressive. All custom made using premium parts handmade in the UK by DCS. Now, the DAC inside the Lena, a lot of people are saying it's the DAC from the original Bartok, or the Bartok, They're, it's the same Bartok that's been around since its inception. I heard the Bartok when it first came out, and but I had different speakers, I had my warmer amps, a warmer preamp, and when I heard that Bartok in my uh, other system, it was too much of a good thing. It brought a little bit more warmth to the system and that system was too warm. I didn't review it because I didn't think the Synergy meshed well with that system. So now that I have the Lena in this system, I'm, I have different amps. I'm running the Enlium Amp 23R, which is a high energy, but still with a beautiful luscious mid-range for easy to drive speakers. Uh, I'm running my Fleetwood DeVille SQs, which are easy to drive sensitive speakers. All right, let's take a closer look at the Lena here. This is the box. It is a short, not too heavy, not too light. It's decent weight. Um, it looks really sharp, really nice. Uh, no corners or cut. What does the sound quality look like? Now, of course, this does have the streamer built in, but as I said, you can also hook up a streamer to it if you don't want to use the built-in streamer of the DCS. This is a Grim MU1 streamer. I reviewed this at my website last week. This is an audiophile top-end streamer, only for Rune and it upsamples the uh, signal before it goes to the DAC. Now, I tested the Lena with the MU1, and I tested it on its own with its own streaming capabilities. The Grim presented a softer, somewhat more laid back presentation, a um, slightly more air, um, but it was more relaxed. The DCS using the built-in streamer on the Lena in my two-channel speaker system uh, brought forth a more more energy, more, more energy in the treble. Uh, I kind of liked the sound of the built-in streamer uh, of the Lena, uh, and that is how I preferred to use it as a simple one-box solution using just the apps direct into uh, or from my listening position playing directly to the Lena. Now the sound quality of the Lena in my system, uh, it is very big, larger than life. The bass on this unit, it's the only DAC I've ever tested where the bass uh, seemed to legitimately increase. It seemed like it improved my speakers, almost like I got an extra octave of bass coming from them. Uh, how do I know this? I don't, I don't know exactly, but I can tell you that listening in my chair, I feel the bass in my body when the Lena is in place. If I swap this out, say, to the Weiss 501, uh, I don't feel that bass in my body. The bass is still tight. The DCS Lena excels with density, um, body, fullness to the sound but it never lacks on the detail. And the detail is not bright. It's a very natural, focused kind of detail that's ever so sweet. The sound from the Lena is juicy, plump, wet. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying there, but uh, it's just every piece of music I play through it, uh, it seems to bring a fullness and body and musicality that I have not heard in any other deck. Compared to the Core Dave, the Dave is more tipped up in the top end, a little more brighter, brings details out more at you. The Dave seems to focus on dissecting the piece of music. 
the Lena does not do that. While the details are there, the air is there, the sound stage is there, everything is there beautifully done. It is never in your face. It doesn't kind of bring attention to itself. Uh, it just plays the music. Uh, now DCS in the past, in the 90s, they were kind of known for being tipped up, being a little aggressive in sound. Today's DCS, if I'm to go by the Lena, it's very, uh, it's more warm leaning about density, body, weight to the music while still providing those really sweet, ever so sparkly details. The voice, human voice, the best I've ever heard with the Lena. Talk about scale. Um, playing a vocalist, it sounds like the vocalist is life size in the room. Instead of a scaled down version of a performance, it sounds like a real life sized performance in the room. Um, I've never heard voice replicated quite like I have with this uh, DAC. Uh, it's not a cheap DAC, but it's at home in a headphone system uh, or a two channel speaker system. It is the most probably expensive DAC that I've had in there, or had through here. Um, the Weiss 501 is another excellent DAC I've reviewed. The Weiss is around nine grand. This is $12,700. The Cord Dave is around 13,000 these days. Um, but this by far in my system here, I've never heard a DAC quite like this. Without question, it's the favorite deck I've ever had through here. The DCS Lena is a beauty and um, it's, it's just a masterful piece of equipment. So congrats to DCS. If you're looking for a high-end deck that offers refinement, smoothness, immense detail, but with that base presence, that weight, that solidity, that density, that sweetness, right? Um, that juiciness, all while presenting the music in a very human and musical way. If you have the budget, if you have a high-end system, take a look, try to audition the DCS Lena or even the Bartok. Um, so this is Steve. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more, and I will have more soon. Bye.